In this video, we'll discuss the workflow for servers working with cash drawers out of their pockets and cashing out at the end of their shift when using Rescue POS. If you need to know how to manage a POS station with a physical cash drawer, you'll want to watch our other video on cash drawer management for the register. Let's define a server cash drawer. For servers, it's not a physical drawer. It's the running calculation on the POS determining how much cash the server owes the house at the end of their shift. Typically, servers keep all the cash in their pockets until they close out at the end of their shift. The cash drawer should be closed by the server at the end of every shift to reset the count for the next time they come in. So how does Rescue track what the server owes? It's based on the server's order activity. Things like cash sales, refunds, comps, gratuity, and tips. Something important to note is that with server drawers, it is tied to the server's login. It does not matter which POS station they use, the running tally of cash the server owes the restaurant follows them. Server drawers allow for efficient use of POS tablets in the restaurant allowing servers to share equipment. This is the opposite of a cash register, where the drawer is tied to the POS station. The money should be placed in the drawer. Let's start by simulating some typical order activity, and then take a look at our cash drawer controls. The primary cash drawer activity is cash sales. So let's ring up a few sales, and you should already know how to check a guest out. But if you don't, please go watch the video on full service ordering. Any cash sales add to the total in your drawer. If there are any cash refunds, they will decrease the drawer balance by the refund amount. As you go through your shift, the drawer balance is tracked by the point of sale and will increase and decrease accordingly. There are some additional drawer management functions to address under the management button. Tap the button that looks like a bar graph on the top left of the screen. Here under cash drawers we see some buttons. However, most of these will not be used in the context of a server drawer. No sale is used to pop open a physical cash drawer and does not apply here. Bank drop is used to take money from a physical drawer and put it in the safe and this does not apply here. Pay-ins and payouts may be used with server drawers but it's uncommon. To perform a pay-in, tap the pay button and enter the amount. The server's drawer at how much they owe the house has now increased by this value. But an example of using a pay-in is if servers are not bankrolling their own change at the beginning of service, a pay-in can be performed by the restaurant to record the funding of the server's bank. Another use of pay-in is in cases where credit card tips are paid in cash at the end of the shift. Some restaurants don't do enough cash sales to cover all of the server's credit card tips, so they will do a pay-in of the difference in tips before the server takes their tips out and closes the drawer to avoid a negative drawer balance. To perform a pay-out, tap the pay-out button and enter the amount. Payouts from the server's drawer are very uncommon, but are sometimes used as a way to adjust the server's cash owed. For example, when tips are received via external payments, the cash owed by the server has now decreased by this amount. Audit is used to check what is owed against cash on hand, but is not used for servers. Close. Servers do need to close the cash drawer at the end of their shift, but this is the last step of the end shift checklist. It is common for servers to cash out their credit card tips at the end of their shift, and this must be done before closing the drawer. We'll cover closing the drawer in the next section as it's part of the end shift checklist. Server end shift checklist. Throughout the shift, the server's drawer balance has been tracking cash drawer activity. Before you leave the restaurant, you need to settle with the house. From the management screen, tap end shift. A manager's pin is required to approve ending the shift. The steps in the checklist are configured in back office and we will be using a recommended workflow for this example. 
Since most restaurants do pay their servers tips in cash at the end of the shift, this is what we will use in the example. If your restaurant does not follow this practice, make sure the setting is disabled in back office. If you have any open orders, you are prompted to close them or you can transfer them to another server. If there are any orders awaiting tip entry, you are prompted to enter tips. You will be prompted to declare your tips. You will be prompted to tip out other departments if you have qualifying sales. You will be asked to close your drawer. Tap the close button. Tap other and enter the expected value. This is what you owe the restaurant. Print the drawer summary and the user summary and provide them to your manager with the cash due. There are two reports that print when the server ends their shift. The drawer summary shows all of the drawer activity including pay-ins, pay-outs, adjustments, and most importantly, the final balance, which is how much the server owes. Standard procedure is for the server to provide the drawer summary and the cash owed together for managers to verify the amounts are correct. The other report that prints is the user summary, which is the server's shift activity report. There is a lot of information on the user summary, including all of the server's sales totals, sales by category, credit card tips, and any comps or discounts provided. Net cash is a figure near the top of the summary that is used to help the restaurant determine how much cash is owed without closing the server's drawer. The user summary can be printed anytime without completing the end shift checklist. However, we highly recommend that the drawer is closed every day and the end shift checklist is completed by every server. It does bear mentioning that there are some settings in back office under tip and gratuity settings that managers need to configure for net cash to be a useful data point. The report can also be printed by managers for any day by going to the management button, tapping on the sales dashboard, tapping change date, and if you tap print user, you can choose to print the report from any day in the past. In this video, we discussed how the system tracks cash owed by servers in the restaurant, called server cash drawers. We discussed how to complete the server's end shift checklist and how to read the end of day reports. Thank you for watching.